just looking at the situation, um, Marcus is exposed right now, and I think he could use some help. He's He came out of cover attempting to chainsaw the drone that was in his area, and he failed to to kill the drone. So I think the best thing for me to do is get Cole closer to Marcus and then let him try to attack. So uh, let's let's play the following card. It's called Assault. And this will allow Cole to move up to three areas and then perform one attack. So that's going to be our card. Cole is going to come out of here, rush by the Lambent Wretches for one, two movement, and he's going to skip into cover here. And from cover, he is going to use his Scorcher. Let's do this. I'll take the token off. We're going for a four dice attack. So, four dice on the attack versus three dice for the defense. Here goes the roll. Let's count these up. Uh, not so impressive. This is going to allow him with the Scorcher to ignore all defense dice. So these all go away. That's only going to result in two wounds and a drone has three hit points. So we've wounded the drone. We didn't kill it. That's going to end Cole's cog order step. It's now time to resolve the, the AI for the turn. And the drones will activate for each drone. If a cog figure is within line of sight, attack the nearest cog figure. Then, if this drone is not in cover, move it one area away from the nearest cog figure. Uh, well, the first one here... Let's take them one at a time. The first one here is right there with with Marcus. And he's going to attack. And I think I think I want to take advantage of Cole's ability to guard. And he can guard with any card. And he can only guard once. So let's see. Uh, advance, advance, advance. Let's get rid of one of these advances. I have a little stack of those. So Cole is going to take another shot at this drone. And let's see, what should I use? My Scorcher is out of ammo, so let's use the Lancer and let's just make a regular attack so it's going to be two attack dice against three not the best chance one shield two wounds two blanks that's actually lucky enough to kill that drone it only had one hit point left so this drone is out and see if it dropped anything. Yes, it did. It dropped another hammer burst right there. All right, so that drone was activated. Let's let's take a look at the others. Um, if a cog figure is within line of sight, attack the nearest cog figure within line of sight if this drone is not in cover. Any more drones within line of sight? No, no. We've got Theron Guard that has line of sight and that's it so for each drone
for each drone. If a cog figure is within line of sight, otherwise move three areas toward the nearest cog figure. So this wounded drone is going to move one, two, three. He's going to end up on Cole's space. Closing in to try to get him from behind. And it looks like these other drones that are in the northern part of the map are going to be closing in. Coming out of here, one, two, three. This guy is going to go one, two, three. I think I moved those correctly. So one, two, three drones on the map. The wounded drone is now right on uh, Cole's back. And I think that will do it for this turn. We will pick it up with uh, Marcus next.